वेलकम आज पेरेंट्स इन एडुकेमीज जोग्राफी ऑप्शनल रिविजन वीडियोज इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द लैंड फॉर्म्स विच कम्स विद इन द मॉड्यूल ऑफ जियो मॉर्फोलॉजी एंड हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ग्लेशियर लैंड फॉर्म्स ओनली सो लेट एस लुक एट वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो फर्स्ट वी विल सी द सिर्क देन ग्लेशियल वैलीज एंड ट्रफ्स फॉलोड बाय ट्रनकेटेड स्पर्स मोरायंस askers and finally drumlins let us glance through some of the pyqs that have been asked in previous years what are truncated spurs where and how are they formed 10 marks asked in 2024 second describe the basket of eggs topography 10 marks 2016 so starting with a sirk that is also known as kori what exactly sirk is first is that sirk are usually found in those areas where there is a glacial climate or its agent of erosion is glacier and this comes within the category of erosional landforms sirk is basically a hollow shaped depression that you can see here also this is a hollow shaped depression that have been formed by the glaciers suppose this is a mountain and on top of the mountain we have a glacier and over the period of time this glacier have been fed by snow and ice and with the and with the accumulation of snow and ice it becomes compact and starts moving downward once it starts moving downward it starts eroding this part that is the slope of the mountain and within the erosion it forms a hollow or a shaped depression like this this is a hollow or a shaped depression that will be formed by the glacier which all, all over looks like this hollow or shaped depression that have been formed by the movement of glaciers it is it would be having the steep side walls and have a basin at the center over a period of time what happens if a glacier melts the water gets accumulated here in this zone or sometimes water also get accumulated in this zone because of rains also so in that case these will be called as tarn lakes and the best example is chandratal in himachal pradesh and gangotri glacier have lot of sirks and kories that you can see there okay fine let's move to the another one that is glacial valleys and glacial valleys also comes within the category of erosional landforms suppose this is valley and we have a glacier here this is a glacier and you know this glacier moves down under the influence of its own weight as well as because of the gravity and when it moves down it starts eroding the land landscape so when the glacier suppose the glacier was earlier here and starts moving like this so it will erode and it will form a smooth surface this is a smooth surface leaving behind the steep side slopes on either side of the valley one more thing that it does is that earlier the valleys are v shaped but now it has transformed it into a u shaped so that is why this glacial valleys or troughs are also called u shaped valleys because they appear or resemble like a u shaped structures another thing that is associated with the glacial valleys are hanging valleys this we know that a main glacier was here and we have some small glaciers here also that is also called as tributary glaciers similar to the main glacier the tributary glacier also erodes this part and as they erode this part they also form a small valley here so over a period of time what we are saying is as this valley is above this valley the main valley we can say that this small valley is hanging above the main valley that is why it is called as hanging valley fine and over a period of time when the ice melts here suppose here we have some at higher elevation we have some glaciers that are melting so these glaciers will melt and flow like this the water path will be taken and they will flow through the hanging valleys and while flowing through the hanging valleys they will look like waterfalls and they will fall from this point so these will be called as waterfalls another point that is associated with this hanging valley is that is fjords this is a glacial valley and if this glacial valley or i can say the trough is close to the ocean if he have ocean on this side the water will enter here 
as the water will enter here into the mainland area this will it will be called as fjords that is mostly seen in the ireland and in other temperate regions other important point is truncated spurs what happens look at this once again and some of the land is bumping out from this area or i can say there are some projections that are in this side or it can be on this side also fine so this is these projections or these areas that have been bumped out are called as spurs and there is another word that is truncated truncated means to cut short or to cut the size of any object so when these spurs have been eroded by the movement of glacier when the glaciers are moving through this way they are eroding these spurs also so the er spurs that have been eroded or that have been cut short are called as truncated spurs fine and examples can be of zanskar valley nubra valley of india now we will see the moraines moraines are the debris and the sediments that have been carried by the glaciers and they are of many types they comes within the category of deposition landforms and they are of three types one is terminal moraines lateral moraines and medial moraines first is this is a glacier and when the glacier is moving they have some sediments or debris along the edges of the glacier this is the glacier and along the edges they have some moraines this edge also fine so the sediments or the moraines that have been flowing parallel to the glaciers and flowing parallel or along the edges of the glaciers are called as lateral moraines similarly we will be having the lateral moraines here also because this is also a glacier and some of the debris or sediments are moving along the edges of the glacier this is the glacier 1 this is the glacier 2 and when these glaciers move downwards and merge somewhere here somewhere here both these glacier 1 and glacier 2 merge so the lateral moraines of the glacier 1 and the lateral moraines of the glacier 2 also merge and form together the central moraines of a unified glacier that would be called as medial moraines as they are at the medial or the they are at the center of the glacier another is terminal moraines terminal moraines are the moraines that are deposited at the terminal end of the glacier this moraines help us to know about the past climatic changes or this also helps us to know, know how far the glacier had moved in the past okay these are the terminal moraines that are found at the terminal end of the glacier the last end of the glacier next is askers asker is also a glacial landforms and it comes within the category of deposition landforms also just look at this figure once so that you have a better understanding of it suppose this is the glacier here and when the glaciers are melting this is a glacier which is melting some streams of water starts originating from it and as these streams of water originate it starts flowing downwards within its flow it also starts depositing some of the sediments the sediments that this stream is depositing in form of sand and gravel and which looks like a narrow ridge ridge like structure this is a narrow ridge like structure which have been formed by the stream and it is usually of sand and gravel this is called as askers you can see here also the narrow ridges that have been formed these have been formed by the water melting from the glaciers and this is usually composed of sand and gravel and they are also very porous so they are also considered as natural aquifers okay this is about the askers next is drumlins or the basket eggs of topography and this comes within the category of glacier as well as depositional landforms again i will ask you to look at this figure that have been shown here this is glacier and while the glaciers are moving they started piling all the sediments under the ice piling the sediments under ice and once it starts retreat or starts moving backward like this 
moving backward means the glaciers are retreating so it will leave behind a mound shaped or i can say elongated tear drop shaped sediments that are usually consist of glacial tills these glacial tills or a mound shaped structures are called as drumlins or they are also called as the basket eggs of topography the best example is of drumlin belt of ireland and canada as well as you can see the drumlins near pahalgam in jammu and kashmir valley look at this drumlins the shape is like a eggs and that is why they are called as a basket eggs of topography and usually consist of glacial tills and they are also considered as very fertile over a period of time they can be used for the cultivation also fine so in this particular video we have seen the glacial landforms first we have seen the sirk then u shaped valleys drumlins askers truncated spurs fjords so thank you and have a nice day